Manchester United's coach, Eric Ten Hag, is feeling the heat as the team struggles with poor performances and doubts about player effort. Eric Ten Hag may wish to cheer himself up by taking a quick glance at Manchester United's fixture list for the next fortnight. An FA Cup semi-final against a Coventry City side whose hopes of reaching the championship playoffs have been all but extinguished, then back-to-back -back home games against strugglers Sheffield United and Burnley. Surely even this wildly unpredictable United team cannot lose those? Well, quite frankly, in a season with more corners turned than the average maze, nothing is guaranteed. A fresh week brings a fresh set of headaches for Ten Hag, who will feel the piercing gaze of United's new ownership more intensely than ever. In theory, United should be beating Bournemouth, but they produced yet another abject performance and were fortunate to return from the South Coast with a point. That made it four games without a win, including seven points thrown away from winning positions against Brentford, Chelsea and Liverpool. Again. Manchester United finds themselves in an unexpected but potentially lucrative situation thanks to Jadon Sancho's success in the Champions League with Borussia Dortmund. Despite United's struggles, Sancho's pivotal role in Dortmund's European campaign has triggered add-ons in his loan deal, potentially swelling the club's coffers significantly. His achievements, however, are met with muted acknowledgement by United, given the strained relationship between Sancho and the club. Sancho's resurgence on the European stage contrasts sharply with his marginalized status at Carrington, highlighting the complexities of player management dynamics in modern football. While his success could raise hopes of a potential return to United, it's uncertain whether a reconciliation is feasible, especially given the issues that soured his time at the club, including public criticism of the manager. Financially, Sancho's Champions League exploits offer United a silver lining amidst their own struggles, potentially offsetting some of the disappointment of their season. The activation of add-ons in his loan deal and Dortmund's likely qualification for next season's Champions League could bolster United's finances, making a permanent transfer a viable option for the German club. However, the ultimate decision regarding Sancho's future remains uncertain, with all possibilities, including a return to United, still on the table. While it may be uncomfortable for United to witness Sancho's success while they continue to falter, the financial benefits of his achievements could outweigh any discomfort. Ultimately, Sancho's unexpected journey through the Champions League serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of football and the potential for financial windfalls, even in the face of sporting challenges. Stay tuned for more Manchester United news. Hello everyone, welcome back again. This time we have exciting updates for you. Ineos' dream appointment now possible following Zinedine Zidane's Bayern Munich issue. Manchester United have received an interesting boost for a manager that Ineos dream of having at Old Trafford. Eric Ten Hag's future at United is uncertain, and there could be a new manager in the hot seat at Old Trafford next season. The problem is that there are not tons of managers available, and some of the options are less than inspiring. Julian Nagelsmann will remain with the German national team until the 2026 World Cup, and many have doubts about the likes of Gareth Southgate and Graham Potter. One manager who has previously been reported as the dream candidate for Ineos is Zinedine Zidane. The Frenchman has been out of the management game since he departed Real Madrid in 2021. A report from Foot Mercato in February detailed that Iniso dreams of having Zidane as the manager at Old Trafford and that Jean-Claude Blanc is a huge fan of the former midfielder. Since then, reports involving Zidane in the management discussions at Old Trafford have gone quiet until new details from France emerged on Friday afternoon. According to L'Equipe, Bayern Munich are interested in Zidane, but whilst he respects that the Bundesliga club would provide him with the chance to win titles immediately, he is thought to find the German language and life in Bavaria to be a major obstacle. Instead, it was added that he is closely monitoring the situation at Manchester United. Zidane helped Real Madrid win two La Liga titles and three Champions League trophies during both of his tenures at the club in a managerial role. Ten Hag is currently in charge at Old Trafford and has one year remaining on his contract, 
but his future is uncertain, again and again. Atalanta want offers in early for United-linked centre-back. According to a report by Italian outlet Tutto Mercato, clubs interested in signing Atalanta defender Giorgio Scalvini will have to act quickly if they plan to secure his signature this summer. The highly rated centre-back, who is only 20, has been linked with a move to United at various stages in recent months, amid the club's plan to strengthen at centre-back this forthcoming summer. The report states, Atalanta are unlikely to sell the defender if interested clubs submit offers within the final month of the window, suggesting they want offers on the table early. The report adds the Serie A club prepared to sell him if they receive offers north of $50 million. Again, Hello everyone, welcome back again. Three Manchester United players are set to recover from injury for Coventry. Man United have a depleted defense to contend with against Coventry City in the FA Cup, but more options further afield. Scott McTominay, Anthony and Harry Maguire are all set to be available for Manchester United in their FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City. McTominay sat out the 2-2 draws with Liverpool and Bournemouth, and Anthony missed the latter fixture. Maguire soldiered through the 90 minutes at Bournemouth, despite a thigh problem. The Manchester Evening News reported this week Maguire had missed training sessions as a precaution, but was expected to be fit for the occasion at Wembley. Anthony and Scott, I expect them to be back, United manager Eric Ten Hag said. Scott didn't train all week, partial on Wednesday. Today I expect him full. Anthony did train all week. We have some problems. Harry. Okay against Bournemouth, he struggled. He had a small injury and he didn't train this week so far, but now he is back on the pitch. We expect him today to be back in team training and he will be available, I hope, for Sunday. The FA Cup is United's only chance of silverware this season, and the last time they won it in 2016, their Dutch manager was sacked two days later. Ten Hag was reluctant to dwell on the parallels with Louis van Gaal, but was more loquacious in discussing the Football Association's decision to scrap replays from the first round next season. It's very sad for the British football culture, but I think it is also inevitable, Ten Hag opined. No one can do anything for it. It's due to the overload in the schedule. That's dictated by FIFA and UEFA. We are a big competition. We have a big influence and a big impact, but FIFA and UEFA... There are so many other countries, and there is so much overload on the players, and it has to stop. As I said, I feel really sad for the clubs in football, but for top players to make some space in the schedule. Elsewhere, Ten Hag recently insisted that there was no chance of Rashford leaving in the summer, despite rumors that Paris Saint-Germain could make a bid for him.